And the reason I put all this stuff out is because I'm passionate about taking you to the next level. Psst. In this video, I could be telling you some things that could be holding you back. As a matter of fact, these things hold back millions of people on a day-to-day -day basis, and they don't even know about it. So if you don't know me, my name's Tyson Durfee. I've been a world champion professional rodeo athlete. I own multiple successful companies such as Shea Michelle Buckles and Shea Baby Boots and the No Limits Mentorship Program. I'm also a professional speaker. And I love to help people transform into the highest performing versions of themselves. And if you've been struggling with your mindset, with your mental toughness, with your attitude, these things could be holding you back. And not only could they be holding you back, but I'm gonna give you the key to be able to overcome them, to go out and crush it. And so the first thing I wanna to talk to you about is you can't live in the past and expect a bright future. So many times we get around people who constantly talk about the past. I mean, think about it. It could be your parents, it could be your grandparents, it could be your friends that you hang out with. And they use words like, you don't understand, I could have had class. I could have been a contender. Or they'll say things like, back in the day, it was so awesome. Everything was great back in the day, but nowadays things are different. Nowadays things are hard. Nowadays things suck. And so if you're living in the past, you cannot expect a bright future. Watch the way that people talk. Watch the way they interact. Watch what they say, the words they say, how they talk to people to understand if this person is past thinking or forward thinking. Typically people who are past thinking are negative people. They believe that their good old days are behind them and that the hard days are in front of them. On the flip side of it, people who are forward thinking tend to think about the future, what I'm going to do, what I will do, what I must do. And so I would ask yourself, where do you think? Do you find yourself thinking a lot in the past? Do you find yourself thinking a lot in the future? Or do you find yourself thinking a lot in the present where you are right now? Myself, I came from an environment where very much it was thinking in the past all the time. The good old days, how it used to be. And these things really carried through to my performance. When I became a professional rodeo athlete, I would think about the last competition, not the next competition. And I would truly tell you that the most important time of your life is tomorrow. It's always tomorrow. It's always the next day. It's always where you're going, what you're going to do. So if you find yourself being stuck in the past, cut it out. Get it out of your head. Get it out of your head because it's not going to serve the future that you want. If you're around people who are negative all the time, cut them out. I know what you're thinking. Ah, I can't cut out my friends. I can't cut out my parents. But you can limit your exposure to them. You can limit the way that you interact with them. You can gently nudge them into a conversation talking about the future without them even knowing about it. It may not be okay right now, but it's gonna be all right later. So limit your interactions with them. And if you have an interaction with them, have a designed strategy to pull them out of the past and into the future. The next thing, if you're around people who constantly justify things, they say, you know, I was gonna go out and chase my dreams, but then this happened and I can't. Or I'm gonna wait when the time's right, then I'm gonna go. Or they're like, I'm gonna wait till next January 1st and then I'm going to go lose the weight. Oh it kind of sounds like you're this you're like making excuses. You see, that is literally justifying. It's an excuse to stay average, my friends. And average is always the enemy. If you want to be mentally tough, if you want to be a high achiever, if you want to go to the next level, if you want to chase your dreams, if you want to crush your life, if you want to build a badass business, average is always the enemy. Listen to the way that people talk. Listen to the way that you talk. If your life was a movie, and it started now. Forget about whatever financial disasters you've had, personal failures, relationship failures. Ask yourself, do I justify things? Do I justify the way things are? Is this something that is a habit or is it something that I can cut off and create a life on my terms? A lot of times people who are past thinking tend to justify things to keep them comfortable, to keep them in a shell where they're comfortable, where they don't have to step outside their comfort zone. But the truth is, the only way to the best life that you will go get is on the other side of average. Watch the justification. If you're around people who justify things, limit that exposure. Get them thinking about forward thoughts, next level thoughts. If you justify things, yeah, I would, I should, I coulda, but you know, this happened. That is not your reality. You are so much greater than that. You are so much better than that. Stop justifying yourself and start taking action. And that's the key. A lot of times if we're justifying, we're sitting still. And the key to getting over justification is to start taking action now. Like literally get up, go take action, do something new, go for a run, get some movement. 
and you'll find that you begin to feel so much better. And that's my advice to people who think in the past, who justify where they're at. My advice to them is to start taking action now. Stop talking. Stop. Like literally, stop talking and start taking action because you will learn and you will grow. That's where possibilities are when you take action because guess what's gonna happen when you start taking action? You're gonna feel good. It's gonna feel great for just a moment. And then you're probably gonna make a mistake. And instead of living in the past and saying, oh, I'm an idiot, oh, I'm stupid, oh, I shoulda, woulda, coulda, oh, I should just try next week. No, you're gonna learn from it when you make that mistake. You're gonna learn from it and you're gonna grow. And then you're gonna take that new person, that one that's grown, that one that's developed, and then you're gonna take action again. And you're gonna gain some steam, and you're gonna gain some momentum, and it's gonna get better and better and better and better. And then guess what? <laughs> Boom! You're gonna hit a brick wall again. And then you're gonna say, ah, oh, I shoulda, woulda, coulda. No, I remember the guy in pink telling me to stop all that crap. Stop thinking in the past, stop justifying. Just start taking action again. Just learn from it and take action again. And then you're gonna take action again. You're gonna grow and you're gonna develop and you're gonna get better and it's gonna be amazing. And then guess what? You're gonna hit a little bit of a brick wall again. And instead of justifying, instead of living in the past, instead of going back to all that crap, you're gonna just start taking action again. And guess what? The next time something comes, it's gonna be like a little less, and then it's gonna be a speed bump, and then it's gonna be something even so minuscule, it's gonna be like water off a duck's back. You're gonna be so callous. You're gonna be so mentally tough. You're gonna be so much stronger that you're gonna go on and crush it. My friends, being mentally tough, running business, making the money, it all starts with action. You were never gonna be able to sit on your hands and say, I built a million dollar business. You're never gonna be able to sit on your hands and say, I became a world champion. You're never gonna be able to sit on your hands doing nothing and say, I got mentally tough because they don't live in the same place. And if you're a person who's struggling with getting the momentum and getting the ball rolling, I have something amazing for you. It's called the Cowboy Challenge. Down in the description below, I want you to accept the challenge, the Cowboy Challenge, to give you momentum, to give you resiliency, to give you mental toughness to go on and chase life. And you can check that out. There's also a ton of free stuff in the description below. You know what? Maybe you struggle with handling haters. Maybe every time that you set out to do something great, people just knock you down. They drag you down. They pull you down. I have a free training for that, completely free. Click the link below, handling haters. And the reason I put all this stuff out is because I'm passionate about taking you to the next level. I'm passionate about helping people. I believe there's an epidemic and I'm not talking about the scandemic or the, excuse me, the pandemic that came around. I'm talking about people getting trapped. I'm talking about people watching the news too much, getting trapped, thinking that they are only capable of certain things. And I will give you one massive tip on this. If you're an individual who just feels stuck, the key to feeling unstuck is consistently moving the ball forward every day. It's consistency. Consistency is the key. Whether you come back to my videos, you find motivation, you learn about things, you learn about business, you learn about your mindset, you learn about all this stuff. It's consistency coming back to my videos day by day by day. Or maybe not. Maybe finding motivational videos. Maybe it's actually taking action, going on a 20 minute walk every single day, but doing it day in and day out, day in and day out, that will begin to give you the belief that you need to be unstuck. And that's what the Cowboy Challenge is all about. It's about getting you moving and holding you accountable to go chase your dreams. And the pandemic that I think that's going on in America right now is a pandemic of people not believing in themselves and not knowing that these beliefs were pushed on them by society. Not knowing that these limiting beliefs that they have about themselves were created by people imposing their will on them without them even knowing about it. You see, I believe we're living in a world that is mentally weak and I'm sick of it. And I want to give people the tools, the strategies, the tips to go on and create the life of their dreams. You see, it's by the grace of God that I'm on this camera here today. I've struggled with suicide. I've struggled with depression. I've struggled with limiting beliefs. And guess what? I'm a world champion. I have an amazing family. I have incredible businesses. My friends, if I can do it, you can do it. So let's make a deal. If you like this video, let's have a firm handshake. Let's seal the deal. My promise to you is that I'll bring you the very best content that I possibly can to lift you up, to build you up, to make you more mentally tough, to make you a better human being, and to make you a better entrepreneur. 
because it's entrepreneurs of this country who are the backbone. And you're into the bargain. If you think the content is good, go ahead and leave me a like. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment because I will read every single comment that comes in on this video. My only goal is to serve you, to help you, to create a better individual, to lift you up, to build you up, to take you to the next level. And so until next time, my friends, adios.